we want to introduce the audience to this alien world as well, showing that, you know what, it's incredibly vast, the alien world. We're composed of trillions of cells, trillions. That's like a hundred times more than humans that are on Earth. So the human body is the size of this like world to these cells. I had done the initial storyline and then brought Mark on board. I studied art in college and that's always what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an artist, I wanted to be an illustrator, I wanted to be a comic book artist. Uh, but once I started working at Marvel in the editorial department, I really enjoyed it. We got lucky. Now we have uh, Lucius who primarily works on the storyboarding. He also helps out with some uh, posters that we've seen, wallpapers. We have uh, Gonzalo out of um, Portugal with Joanna and they do the line art and all the coloring which I think is fantastic because this comic book is a lot of detail in it from the backgrounds to the foregrounds is uh, I think they've done a wonderful job with bringing bringing the whole story to life. Really the biggest challenge is you know we have these parallel storylines and we don't want them to seem completely um, unrelated, which sounds kind of crazy because one of them is happening inside the body of our main character. We start off in the mind, the council of the mind, realizing that there's some something wrong in the biocosmos. There's been some infection. That it's not your common infection they're used to, and they're sending uh, the team led by Blaster to find out what's going on. Blaster is someone who I feel for because he's constantly got to motivate his team in this relentless battle that, you know, they keep fighting and tries to keep their spirits up. So Humoron, he's very talented, very gifted. He's also a funny character, so I thought the name kind of applies nicely to him. Uh, brings a little comic relief to a very dark, constant, ongoing battle. This girl is always in the midst of battle. No special powers, you know, so she, she runs quick, very quick, uh, just the speed of thought, but she's relaying messages to the team from the Council of the Mind. Satura is a fibroblast, she's like the medic on the scene. She's repairing the, the tissue walls, any inf cells that have been infected, you know, had that have been cut up in battle, she could help out. A uh, really caring person. Ray's is a bacteria, and he's a very special bacteria because he's been engineered by the Combine. So uh, they took a real badass bacteria and made him worse. We didn't want your regular bad guy villain. So the Combine is a very complex villain that some people may not even see him as a villain. Interesting thing about the Combine is that while they are the story's antagonist, as, as Gabriel alluded to, you know, their credo is something that doesn't necessarily immediately identify them as, you know, quote unquote evil guys. A part of them, what they're trying to do is get rid of the negative aspects of society that really hold things back. You know, they might refer to that those aspects of society as a virus. Alex Hawking is the uh, story's protagonist and is a guy who, on the one hand, thinks that, you know, he knows all the answers, but on the other hand, he, he doesn't know where he's going. The most fun character to write is Janice, who becomes, uh, who joins Alex on his, his crazy adventure. She's this um, really ambitious young reporter who wants to make the big time. And the thing that's cool about Janice is that, you know, her voice, I think, you know, she asks the questions in my mind that I think the readers probably ask as they're reading the story. She gets to be the one who's very skeptical and, and uh, sarcastic sometimes and really has the sort of reactions that you and I, if we were involved in the story, might have or if we were hearing about this story. You want to give the audience a sense of vastness of an alien terrain and these characters and you want to keep the characters so they're true to real life biology because I think that immunology is incredible. I think it's beyond science fiction. I think these characters have powers that mankind hasn't even still gone to that level yet. I think uh, the key thing for these types of stories is always try to, even when there are crazy things going on and larger than life things going on, that uh, the decisions your characters make are, are believable on an emotional level. Bringing all this together took, I think, a, a lot of uh, editing work, a lot of work and rework trying to do something that um, we want people to appreciate on various levels. The story is going to take a lot of twists and turns. Uh, try and get people wrapped up into uh, both the outside storyline and the internal storyline. And uh, 
Poor Alex, man. I mean, that guy doesn't know what he's into. Find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, find us on Google+. Uh, help us get the word out there.